Hi there. Welcome to the new data science case study, which is related to the Galton's data on the heights of the parent and children by child. So this is an interesting case study where, as you could see, the height of parents, that means the height of the uh, father on, and the mother has been captured along with the height of the parent. And with that, we are just trying to predict or trying to establish some sort of a relationship that uh, based on the height of both husband and wife or mother or father, does this really affect the children? Now, along with this, it also explores the question which is related to uh, the, the marriages. So, for example, based on the height of the man and woman, is there a particular type of relationship which captures that uh, how the marriage is being decided based on the height. So generally it's been seen that, uh, uh, you know, the husband or the wife has some marginal difference between the height and in some part of the countries it is uh, preferred to have the lower height of the bride as compared to the groom. So this this case study basically explore these type of questions and uh, we will see in the next uh, slides, couple of slides, all of uh, those different types of questions. But before that, let's look at the data. So over here, what do we have is a very simple data set and it's basically the Galton family's data set in the CSV format, which you can find it in the description and uh, get it uh, from from the link which I have provided. Also, the solution of this file is given in the R and Python. But you can uh, you can solve solve this in whatever tool you want. So, for example, if you want to use uh, Mat uh, MATLAB or you want to use Tata or any other programming language of your interest. Because what I've what we are trying to explore is just some of the questions, and those questions can be answered with the any other tool or like tableau if, if not programming or any other data visualization or data intelligence tool all right so what do we have is first of all the this is a serial number so we will ignore that again this is a family id so not uh, of very not of uh, very high relevance over here but if you see that based on the family id so this basically four uh, rows are related to one particular family ID. So some sort of a relevance is out there based on the family ID uh, parameter or the family ID column. Now the next column very straightforward is the height of the father. Similarly the height of the mother and then the mid height of the parent. It is based on the formula which is mentioned over here. That is uh, father plus uh, 1.08 multiplication of mother divided by 2. And then you have the height of the children over here. Sorry, it's basically the number of children in this family. So in the entire family, how many children you have and in a specific row, that means within that family, how many children that you have. So it's the children in the family and this column, number of child within family of this uh, number of uh, this child within family is basically this particular column. Then very straightforward, you have gender and then you have finally the height of the child which uh, is basically we are trying to explore with the help of the mother and father height. And similarly, like I said, since these two heights are given, you can even explore the type or is there any relationship or is there any specific pattern like I mentioned at the start which speaks about uh, the type uh, or the preferred way of having the height of the bride and the groom uh, when the marriage is happening. All right, so let's look at the questions. So over here, uh, first of all, uh, you need to import the relevant libraries from uh, or the, you know, to the settings based on the tool that you are using. And then you need to read the CSV and drop and ignore the first column, which is nothing but the serial number as I mentioned in the data set file. And uh, the file name, like I mentioned, is the galtonfamilies.csv. Now for that, once you have imported, you need to check the shape of the data set. It should have 934 rows and eight columns. After that, uh, you need to basically write 
in a proper professional way that what is the ob key objective of the case study and what's the response or target variable here. So I have given you the hint at the when I was explaining the data or when I was starting the case study. Now you need to write in your own words uh, about this particular um, as the answer of this particular question. After that, you need to calculate the correlation matrix between the child height, father height and mother height. And this will reveal a lot of good information about uh, about uh, these three different uh, variables and uh, will help you take the path the next steps for what you need to do in case uh, of uh, the solving the case study then plot a basic scatter plot matrix for the data set of the matrix created above so straightforward then summarize the entire data set with all the variable and its data types so generally you get the numerical variable only when you summarize it and I'm talking specifically in the terms of Python uh, with the described method that it has or the yeah described method that it has but uh, summarizes uh, something you will have to specify some parameters over there to take the uh, categorical variable as well then father's mean height is about what percentage compared to the mother's mean height so calculate the ratio and show it in the percentage after that you need to calculate the mean height of the adult male and female children in the data set provided right very straightforward what is the ratio is it the same above comment on the observations so write your observations what do you think about it because writing it is very important will solidify your understanding about what do you think uh, when you compare or when you identify a metric then comment on the mid parent height available and why it's the 1.08 taken as the multiplication factor so that's an interesting you need to, you need to probably explore a little bit about the data or you may need to rewind it and see uh, that mid height variable or mid parent height variable which i shown you it has taken 1.08 as the factor to multiply it uh, to the woman height and uh, you need to understand or identify why it was taken then you need to calculate the correlation between the child height and mid parent height variable and interpret its meaning in your own way like whether highly correlated positively negatively or neutral what it is then in question 7 we calculated the ratio which we see mean height of the male children by female children take the ratio value and multiply with the female child height and make a new variable adjusted child height after that you need to calculate the correlation between the adjusted child height and mid parent height variable and write your interpretations then compare the uh, question 9 and question 11 score that means the code the two different correlations and see which one is higher and again write your comments then make a scatter plot of uh, child height versus father height and child height versus mother height what do you observe comment about it then fit a multiple regression model predicting children's height the child height from the father's height and the mother height and the gender all right straightforward question number 15 what are the assumptions to be taken as a note on before and after you have built the regression model so write down the assumptions if you don't al already know this is also an interview question which uh, many times been asked okay if you are following the regression model what are its assumptions then summarize uh, the key five of them um, if there are any library in R which checks the assumption for us automatically if you know name it if no then explore and then name it then check any one of the above mentioned assumption and comment on the fighting sorry findings <laughs> and then uh, what is vif variance inflammatory factor in case if you need to uh, search if you already don't know and explain where and why do we know it need it if the v value of vif is between 5 to 10 what do we do to the variable which function do we use in r and python to achieve the same then 
comment on the model observations in question number 14 and uh, plot the residuals versus fitted value for the multiple regression model above and comment what do you see what do you think about this particular uh, plot and what uh, what it uh, gives you the indication for the next sort of next step of uh, uh, steps that you need to take then fit a simple linear regression model predicting children's adjusted height from the mid parental height and finally plot the residuals versus the fitted value for the simple linear regression model above and comment about it all right this is the final question <laughs> uh, how does the simple linear regression model fit in question 19 compared to the multiple linear regression fit in question number 14 do you think it is a fair comparison if no comment on how it can be made fair and hint which i have given is think of predictor variable and r square as well as i would suggest adjusted r square for the model that we fitted earlier in the question number 14. so that's mainly uh, pretty much it as you can see it's the end of the case study so i hope you will enjoy and you will practice this case study and find your observation what we have not explored over here is basically the the marriage assumption that is there a relationship based on the height of the male and female and that how the marriage is happening so i would really encourage you that you also explore that area and write your findings about it so that's pretty much it and i'll meet you with the new case study in the new video